How you doing, everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. Well, my wife went to a the rummage sale at church, and she came home with this. This is a this one's a fairly old one, actually, and uh, I I used I have one somewhere that I had from my uh, grandfather. Actually, I have it somewhere, but one similar to this, and it's a screwdriver, right? This one has a brass handle, and the cap comes undone, right? And inside would be another screwdriver, a little small one. Well, the medium-sized one is missing. Uh, so I decided to uh, draw it all up, as you can see here, and I'm going to make one and restore this. So this one will go inside the medium-sized one. And then the medium sized one will go in here. Now, the medium sized one goes on this cap. This cap is integral. It, it screws onto the first threads here, right there, which is about five, a little bit bigger than 5 16 so It's a weird size, but it's 24. They're 20, both threads are 24 threads per inch. So you screw the medium one on there, and then the whole thing will screw in like that. And inside the medium one is this little one. And this little one is also missing a cap. And that's a 632, 832 thread in there, I think it was. So we'll make a new cap for this one. And we'll make the screwdriver for this one. And we'll restore this. The tough part's going to be getting the knurl to be similar. This is knurled, very light knurl, but uh, and pretty fine. Uh, but we'll see what we can do about that, see how close we can come. So this is going to be a fun little project. and. After careful uh, reevaluation, actually a little practice, this cap, I thought I'd make the thread, figure out the th exactly what the threads are. I thought they were 24. This one's 24, I think, because I have three threads to measure on there. This outer one, I have about one and a half, one and about one and a half. Uh, times around on the thread. So it's very difficult to measure. So I redid, looked at it and go, well, that's really closer to 18 threads per inch. And uh, after a couple practices, I figured out a K drill at 18 threads per inch. So I, I worked that out and I got that to work. So that fits uh, pretty nice in there. <laughs>
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video of restoring this uh, nice little screwdriver. We, I did not do anything to the outside of this at all. I just uh, wiped it off. So it's, it's uh, in the original state uh, that we got it. I did polish the screwdriver blade up a bit. Just kind of cleaned and polished it up. It needed to be cleaned up on the end and all that. So took a file and just kind of and then polished it, the shank. Well, let's see how everything came out. This unscrews. And we have a screwdriver right there. So that one came out good. Now, uh, you saw me put this in a bottle. And that was just white vinegar and a little and some salt poured in there and mixed. And I hung it in there to, for several hours because it's really cold in here. Now, if it was warm, it wouldn't take so long. But, oh, I don't know. It's probably in there for four hours. And it came out awesome as far as replicating the finish pretty much. It could be a, maybe a little darker, but uh, in the camera here, it doesn't do it justice. It, it's, it looks so close that it's unbelievable. Uh, so it's, it, I'm just very happy with how all this came out. It just came out awesome. And then this unscrews. And I did not film the making of the small screwdriver. It was pretty small. <laughs> Let me put it that way. But, you know, it came out just awesome. And I aged it uh, the same way. And I even got the knurl to match. I probably could have went maybe a little deeper on that knurl to match that. This is kind of, this one is a little deeper. But it came out really well. And it's really tiny. Right there. Really tiny. That's for eyeglasses. So I'm, I'm really happy how that came out, though. It just came out perfect. And uh, they all go in there. So this was a fun project to uh, do. And to get this little screwdriver, uh, I didn't make this. I took a, a really, it was a cheap, uh, you know, tweaker screwdriver. And I removed the screwdriver from it and used that and put just pressed it in there with some Loctite. I did cheat a little bit there, but this one I made. I mean, uh, not this one. This one, not this one I had to make, and I showed you that. Came out really good. And it looks uh, almost original. So I'm really happy with this restoration, and uh, I'll give that back to my wife, and I don't know what she's going to do with it. Probably put it in the drawer in the kitchen. Like everybody else said, they was always in the drawer of the kitchen. I remember my mom having something like this. I think she had the hammer, though. But I have, and I have one of these. But that, and I think that came from my father. So I, but I haven't found it yet. And I don't know. I think it has all the screwdrivers. So we'll put that back together. And that slips. So I just slipped. That just sits in there. That slips in there. And then that slips in there. Fun project. Fun project. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And maybe we can find some more restoration type projects uh, around. And if anybody wants to know, that thing is, uh, what, five and about five, five and three quarters inches long. So. And again, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.